Check it. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at Bed Bath & Beyond BBBY. I had a ton of requests for this ticker in a post that I made. I wanna know what other tickers you guys wanna see, so let me know down in the comment section below what tickers you wanna see me cover. I will do videos for them. But let's go ahead and hop into technical analysis and fundamental analysis for Bed Bath & Beyond stock. All right, what is up? You guys are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to look at BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond stock. So I had a lot of requests for this. I put out a post yesterday asking what tickers you guys want to see, and BBBY was one of the top ones. So guys, here is your video for Bed Bath & Beyond. So here's what I'm looking at for BBBY. So guys, let's go ahead and check out the technical analysis and then the fundamental data and see what we're looking at for Bed Bath & Beyond. So the first thing that stood out to me with Bed Bath & Beyond is obviously the short interest and the FTDs suddenly racking up around the beginning of the year. As you guys can see, FTDs just shooting up. Now, this stock had FTDs before and had seen previous runs before, but look how many FTDs it has now. And we also have T plus 35 closeout dates coming, so that could provide bullish momentum to push the stock to the up side another thing that i'm looking at if you hold bbby you probably know about amc and amc has a catalyst coming up very shortly on thursday which i do expect a big move from amc so it could follow amc or even push amc up begin to run before amc i probably would think that it's going to consolidate um through the week and then maybe here later in the week see a move but i do think bbby could see a nice move to the upside now what i do want to see is it hold this 25 cent level so if it goes below 25 cents that is a bearish sign okay so we did have a nice run to the upside here people are calling it a dead cat bounce i call it a sign of strength okay this is a sign of strength this is over a 50 percent move that is not a dead cat bounce so we've seen this and now we're consolidating above the low so it's not like we went back down to the previous low we're consolidating above that range which is a very bullish indication we could set us up for a higher high setup as you guys can see we have a low or a high and a high we have a low and we have a higher low we could get a higher high now if bbby can get above this critical support and resistance at 48 cents i expect it to go up to this critical resistance here at about 60 cents then we're looking at about 80 cents and then one dollar and 25 cents if bbby can get above a dollar you could see massive price action because the calls expiring in the money will push you so high the gamma ramp would be absolutely insane look how many calls would be expiring in the money now this is this last week's data but it will be updated on monday but look how many calls expire in the money over one dollar the gamma ramp would be absolutely insane if bbby can get above a dollar again now the fundamentals of the company are not that sound this is a pure short squeeze play ryan cohen could be involved with it which could give a potential catalyst any potential catalyst could set this off it does have underlying fundamentals for a short squeeze another interesting thing about bbby when it took off is the RSI was under 30. Anytime you see RSI under 30 on a stock, that is indication of a possible short squeeze when you have sh high short interest and the RSI is under 30 and trading near 52 week lows or at 52 week lows, which BBBY is at 52 week lows and RSI under 30. So this could be the beginning of a massive move to the upside for Bed Bath & Beyond in my personal opinion. Now we do have bullishness on the daily MACD and on the weekly macd so you could see a nice move to the upside again rsi extremely low on the weekly macd but momentum is not that faded so this could see a decent pop to the upside in my personal opinion especially with these failure delivers coming home to roost and the short interest being so high if there had to be any reason that the shorts had to cover you could see a significant move for bed bath and beyond now cost of borrow rates are not that impressive so you wouldn't see it that hard for them to get shares available to short this thing they could get shares available to short it very very easily but we have seen bed bath and beyond take off with a huge amount of shares available to short already now what they have right now is at sitting at 250,000 shares available to borrow 
not that many shares available to borrow. So we could see some action to the upside here coming this week. Let's go ahead and look at the technical analysis and see what we're looking at for Bed Bath & Beyond on the technical side of things. So again, I want to see it hold this 25 cent region, consolidate above it. I'm not really seeing any technical patterns, maybe a possible falling wedge right here. As you guys can see, I'll go ahead and plot it out and see what we're looking at and see what we find with this and see what a price action might be so this could be a possible falling wedge right here which is a bullish pattern which means that it would pop to the upside and give us bullish momentum so probably consolidate throughout the uh after hour or pre-market probably consolidate down towards that 25 cent level hit that 25 cent level and get a significant bounce off of the uh, off of that level in my personal opinion now we need to get above this critical 33 percent cent resistance and if it can get above that 30 cent resistance we can get to this 50 cent resistance and see a nice push to the upside especially if we get above 50 cents on bed bath and beyond you can see that was our previous resistance before kept hitting our head above it above it so if we can get above that 50 cent resistance that 50 47 50 cent resistance you could see a nice push from bed bath and beyond any significant movement to the upside could cause a big run because of the shorts having to cover because of the gamma because of the setup that bed bath and beyond has so this is what i'm looking at for the technicals and the fundamentals on Bed Bath & Beyond. Let's go ahead and pop on the Bollinger Bands, see if we indi indications of volatility. And as you guys can see, yes, the Bollinger Bands are very constricted right here, telling us volatility is coming for Bed Bath & Beyond. And as you guys can see, they're closing in on themselves right here, telling us that another big move. It doesn't say up or down, but I'm determining up because you're about to get a bullish cross here on the two hour. So I'm determining that the move is gonna be a bullish momentum to the upside, pushing this to the upside and it's showing us volatility is coming. A nice pop for BBBY probably this week is coming, okay? In my personal opinion. So that is what the technical analysis and fundamental analysis is telling me our side was managed to cool down on the four hour time frame that was something i was warning about in my previous videos it was getting too hot when we were getting near this 50 cent resistance knew that we were going to get a pullback our side is now cooled down so we could have room to run to the upside things are looking bullish for bbby in my personal opinion and the underlying fundamentals are perfect for a short squeeze with the short interest with the ftd suddenly spiking up uh, cost of borrow should be a little bit higher, but with the gamma ramp and the fundamentals behind it, everything else is looking good for Bed Bath & Beyond. Another interesting thing is that the 200 moving average is way up here at a dollar. So eventually the stock will come back to retest the 200 moving average. And as you guys can see, that is at about a dollar six right now. Now, if it continues to go down, that would eventually come down. But if it continues, if the stock goes up, it will stay about flat or start to curl up and be at about the dollar dollar five dollar ten range so that's what i'm looking at for bed bath and beyond hopefully you found this video informative i know i did if you guys have any more tickers that you want to see me cover go ahead and put them down in the comment section below let me know what you thought about this video let me know what questions you guys have anything else you'd like to see on the channel and i also talk about my trades and stocks on cryptocurrency and stocks all day long on my discord it'll be linked down in the comment section in the description below so if you find any of that interesting go ahead and check that out and also i I dropped a membership for my channel where you guys can become members get exclusive content exclusive badges exclusive egmos and more so go ahead and check that out if you like and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right guys that was the video hopefully you found it informative i know i did if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe for more content like this remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates i go live talk about my trades stocks all day long so if you find any of that interesting go ahead and check that out and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out